we got to put the process in place to protect this profit we're building and have built. Number one, org chart. It's real simple. It's what position does everybody have on the team? And where our org chart's different, it's not just the position you play on the team, it's the list of responsibilities by position. Then number two, we got to put a default calendar in place. What does that mean? That means I know I got all these tasks I'm responsible for, but the default calendar is when am I supposed to do them? And again, we have the tool in place. You fill it out, we walk you through the whole process. Then the next step is now I got the list of responsibilities, I know my position, I know when I'm supposed to do them in the default calendar, then we're gonna put a playbook in place. And a playbook is how to do the task when I'm supposed to do it. If we put that in place, that blue section right there for the whole team, that slide we talked about earlier where big companies as they get further out and hire more people, uh, efficiencies dilute, this solves that problem. And then we go to people. And in people, it's very simple. Step one, we must, we give you a training tool for you to use to train your team, all new hires, all existing team members, to get the right mindset and habits. If they don't have the right mindset and habits, if the company's culture is not the right mindset and habits, and we have all those mindset and habits laid out for you to train on, uh, then you got a problem right out of the gate, right? And then the next thing is we put a training program. Hiring that, you end up hiring that person who just wants the paycheck, right? They yeah. show up five minutes late and they go home 10 minutes early and they want to get full paid because they don't really want to be there. Understand the mindset and habits properly allows you to build the culture where people want to come to your business and they want to work with you to get somewhere. They're not in it for just for themselves, they're in it for the team. And that's what every business wants. They want everybody to be involved because they're there for the team, not for themselves. Exactly. And then the training program, most companies, when they say implement a training program, think about training someone how to do a job. We shift gears a bit. Our tool is about training the team on how to navigate the system. This last slide here, those tools. It's about training the team how to navigate those, use them properly, and work them so that the team uses this system, the system shows how to do things. And then the last piece is a hiring process. And it's a hiring process that's visualize an obstacle course. We set up an obstacle course and the candidates you want to hire or are interested have to jump through that obstacle course. If they're not prepared to jump through it, you're better finding out during the hiring process than three, six, 12, 18, 24 months after they start because or something comes up and you got to get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. Right? Oh, I waited till my, my probationary period was over and now I'm becoming a dick. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want to bypass those people. Yeah. So it's about, you know, I'll give you a quick example in hiring process. One of our clients has this. He has on, in his office, on his wall, an email printout framed. And it says on there why I have a hiring process. And this is what the email says. He had set up a, in our hiring process, one of the hoops we have to jump through is a potential candidate or someone that wants to work for you has to do this questionnaire. So this candidate, instead of filling it out, sent him an email and said, why do I have to fill this silly thing out when all I want to know is when do I start and how much do I make? And he printed the email, put it in a frame and said, this is why I have a hiring process. Because you don't want that person working for you and you find out a year later how bad they are. So as a recap, these 13 things we just went through are the tools one at a time, we will give you and walk you through and implement and hold your hand in this class. And they are the foundation, the fundamentals, every business. Hey guys, Dennis Tagman here and thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you go to presenticlass.com. We've got the entire thing laid out so that way you know how to take your business from startup all the way through to sale if you want to. And the things to look up in between as you're going. Also, if your business right now is in a situation where it's just not giving you the lifestyle that you want or things just aren't going the way you want to, you need to fix it. Presentingclass.com is also built to help you out as well. So check out presentingclass.com and we'll see you there.